the project is a a solar panel to uh, heat the air. Anyway, what I want to try to do is use all recycled uh, materials just as a project and see. This is uh, my power bill. You can see right there kilowatt hours used. 7,443 and that was for, uh, well there it is right there, the month of December 08. So it's about $438 bill total. So anyway, that's what we're going to see if we can uh, get rid of. Or drop it down anyway. Maybe have a little fun doing it. This is uh, some recycled 2x6's that I got from a job site. They were concrete forms. Alright, got the boards all cleaned up and I don't have a table saw so I gotta run them over to a friend of mine that does have one. That's better known than one myself. And we'll cut all the notches and so forth. gone through and I've caulked all the inside of it to get it as airtight as I can. So now the next thing to do would be to make the manifolds on both ends of it that's going to carry the coroplast. And they'll go down those troughs on each end. So I'll show you a little picture of that when I get done with that. Sure hope this thing works. Alright, everything's blacked out. To do a panel this size, it took me a quart of paint and I still got some paint left over. Um, for touch up and so forth after I get it mounted. <clears throat> okay, I picked up my coroplast. That's it there. And then now to address a problem of uh, inconsistent airflow through the coroplast, what I did was I took, uh, you can see there on the end, I made a manifold on the end and I put a slip cap on it three inch ABS pipe and then I've got a 90 and then what I'm going to do is uh, say this is the top I'm, I'm going to have to this thing's so tall I'm going to have to mount it sideways um, <clears throat> I'm going to come in with the the L going out the 90 degree L I haven't cut the hole yet for that because I've got to center the coroplast in it and then I've made another one for the other side and it'll come through on the opposite end Anyway, I'm hoping that the three-inch pipe will, you know, uh, pressurize and it'll help the airflow going across the core plast more evenly. Um, so anyway, what I'll do to connect the core plast to the pipe is I'll take my saw and I'll cut a, a four-foot split up the side of it, and then I'll slide the core plast in an inch and a half or so, and then I'll uh, take and seal it up real good with silicone. Um, the core plast sheet, 4 by 8 sheet of that cost me $20. Now this is um, 4 millimeter core plast, and they make up to 10 millimeter and it's not flexible and it's rigid. It looks to me like it would really work well but it's $62 a sheet. So anyway I figured for this experiment I'm going to use the 4 millimeter and maybe a little bit more air resistance to slow the air down and pick up some more heat. So anyway, I'll check back after a bit. Here's our uh, manifolds, and I've marked them with masking tape, you can see. It's a quarter inch wide groove starting half inch from the end. Continues up four foot. And I'm going to have to cut into the elbow just a little bit. Um, what, I, what I did, all the joints are glued together with the exception of this short piece of drop right here and I just slipped the two together because I don't have a vise or a good table really to do this on and so then obviously after it's cut then I'll just slip it back apart uh, I'm gonna have to use uh, my DeWalt circular saw it's the only thing I've got really to cut it I put a fine tooth blade on there so 
we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll cut it okay. I've never cut ABS pipe. You got it cut. There. Now one thing that I wasn't expecting was, um, you can see the cut there. As I got out towards the middle of this pipe, it started to collapse back in on itself. So it's a good thing I put the uh, masking tape on there. It worked pretty slick, really, because um, you just hold the saw on, it just kind of pulled itself right into the saw blade. And so I just uh, kind of followed it and made the cut. So anyway, next is to uh, cut the core class. Here's a shot after uh, everything's been basically put together and I'm blacking out the chloroplast right now. I had to take a quick break. Um, you can see how the ribs right here, the chloroplast is uh, resting right against that rib. So that turned out good. You can see there's a corner there. I'll get another picture of it when it's all done. But <clears throat> um, worked out good. By the way, I need to give credit where credit's due. They, where I got the idea to use the chloroplast was off the green, uh, green Power Science, uh, Dan Rojas' site. Anyway, he was the one that came up with the idea. And he's got a little video on there where he used cardboard. Anyway, I was looking at that last night, and there's another fellow that put a video response, <clears throat> basically had the same idea, you know, using tubes on the ends, just like that. And he had mentioned using PVC, polyvinyl chloride, the, the good old white pipe. And my experience with that has been in sealed solar panels like this, that you end up it ends up melting and getting real soft so you know maybe some other folks have got some other experiences and with it. And here's a shot of the panel with the glass in there. Here's a shot of it uh, after I got it mounted on the wall. Those wooden blocks are just kind of temporary keepers holding the glass on there. Anyway it uh, mounted up good. I'm gonna run inside real quick and uh, show you how it's working kind of give you an idea of the day it kind of we get a little sun peeking through up there but it's uh, cold here's the numbers if you can read them uh, the top temperature is what's inside here it's going up so it's 70.3 degrees Fahrenheit and then the exhaust of the solar panel is the 104 and then the 29 is humidity. Well, I played with this thing for about an hour or so. Anyway, um, basically, well, the temperature ended up going up and it got as much as 120. Two, I think which was kind of impressive and the overall temperature of the building has gone up to 71.2 so all in all it's been successful now that other part was awfully loud and granted I'm I'm using a six and a quarter horse shop vac and it puts out hundred and ninety uh, cubic feet per minute and I did take a control on it and it does add seven degrees uh, Fahrenheit temperature to the uh, to the air, but even at that, it still maintained what 40, 40 some degrees generally. So I've got to get some kind of a vent. It's got to look better than that, and I'll probably come up with another source of a blower besides using the old shop vac. Don't really want to burn that thing up. So anyway, hopefully this video helps somebody. <laughs> and inspires them to uh, build one. It's definitely possible. It does work and there's the proof of it right there. Just shut the panel off and it's cooling down now but yeah I'm pretty impressed so another uh, big thanks to Dan Rojas for the idea. Anyway if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask and I'll answer them if I can. Thanks.